hello! Welcome, welcome! Come on out! Come on out! <laughs> I'm taking you outside! Well, there we go. Oh, we're good, thank you. How are you? Very well, thank you. Uh, I, I'm coming out to film the snow. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? Okay. <laughs> and if we go down here a little way. Here's Chuckabug getting snowed in and the outside lights are all on. Look at that. I got my snow and I'm out filled with it. I don't want it. We've got floods, breaches, evacuations. Yes. No. It's all happening tonight, isn't it? I think nine o'clock we'll get locusts. <laughs> oh, look at it. I don't like the snow. Well, I thought I'd better come and show my lovely viewers all the boats in the marina. <laughs> Make sure they're all white. And I'm stood here in a T-shirt. Yeah. You're excited anyway, aren't you? I'm excited. I got my snow, but I can't cruise in it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, bless you. There we go. Take it easy, mate. Take it easy. Well, there we go, then. Hey, <laughs> three days later, we're back in the snow again, eh? <laughs> well, look, I've got a very special vlog for you this week. I want to talk about St. Doingman. Now, for those that live in Wales, tomorrow, the 25th of January, is in fact the Welsh equivalent of Valentine's Day. So, I couldn't really talk about St Doinwyn and I couldn't talk about Wales by showing you an English canal, could I? No, it just wouldn't be right. So, I've got some fantastic footage from a drone of parts of uh, Wales, but in, in particular uh, areas which I will refer to in my narration. So there's something really exciting to look forward to. But before we actually go and look at the vlog, I have to say that whilst I may have been so unlucky in love in over, over the years, I certainly have been enriched by the, the kindness and the warmth of so many in the boating community, and you, of course, my subscribers, who give me such inspiration to do these vlogs weekly. I love doing them, and I hope you enjoy watching them. So, one of those wonderful friends that I've met is Steve and Chris from Life Aboard Amy Jo. And it is to them that I give the credit for the footage you're about to see. For the narration though, <laughs> that's all down to me. So let's get on and enjoy this week's vlog. So at first glance, it uh, may appear rather strange that an Englishman is talking about St. Doinwin. Not really. My uh, grandmother's family come from a little Welsh village just over the border from Salatin. And as a child, I can recall many days, many picnics down by the Horseshoe Falls which we are currently looking at now where we used to have lots of fish paste sandwiches if I recall we'd play games, we'd run around all to the shouts of STAY AWAY FROM THE WATER <laughs> In later years, my son and my granddaughter, who still live in South Wales, 
were joined by myself and I had many years working and enjoying life not far away from the Welsh capital where until my hospitalization I was invited and I spent four and a half years as chair of the Bridge End County show a fantastic show fabulous fabulous people that run it and I'm indebted to them and all the lifelong friends that I met while I was involved in that show So, as the drone takes us over and around the Ponky Silty Aqueduct, let's talk about St. Doinwin. So, St. Doinwin is the Welsh patron saint of lovers, making her the Welsh equivalent of the English St. Valentine. Doinwyn lived during the 5th century and legend has it that she was one of the prettiest King Brihainion's 24 daughters. Doinwyn fell in love with a local man named Mylon and decided they wanted to get married. The king had already promised Doinwyn to a prince and forbade them to marry. Doinwyn was very angry and distraught about this and ran into a local woodland where she wept and prayed. In her prayer she begged God to help her forget all about her love for Mylin. Legend says that as she drifted off to sleep in the woods she was visited by an angel carrying a sweet potion. Doinwyn was told that as she drank the potion she would forget all about Mylin. She took a sip of the potion, but instead of having the desired effects of helping her to forget about Mylin, it turned him into a block of ice. Once God realised his mistake, he granted Dinewin three wishes. Firstly, she wished that Mylon would be thawed so that he could continue with his life. Secondly, she wished that God would grant the wishes and dreams of all lovers so that they would not have to experience her heartbreak. And lastly, in a sign of rebellion, she wished never to marry. God granted Doinwyn all three wishes and at once she dedicated her life to him and became a nun and opened a convent on the beautiful island of Clandidwyn near Ang Anglesey. Any man that is wishing to surprise and delight their Welsh girlfriend, wife 
then tomorrow the 25th of January is the day to do it. You will certainly score an awful lot of brownie points by remembering St. Doyne Wednesday. And where traditionally a Welsh love spoon is given as a gift. And in 2007, the world's largest ever love spoon was carved and measured a whopping 44 feet. A bit of light hearted um, trivia. A group of Denbyshire farmers celebrated St. Doinwyn's Day back in 2007 by turning their milk bottles into makeshift Lonely Heart ads, attaching pictures of themselves to them with a message inviting people to fancy a farmer. <laughs> it remains a mystery as to whether St. Doinwyn's magic was able to help these plucky farmers get a date. But I'm sure if you know the answer to that, you'll be putting it in the comments below. I hope you have enjoyed this little tribute to St. Doinwyn's Day and these lovely, lovely people from Wales who I feel such an affinity with. We've already visited the Horseshoe Falls. We've also visited Ponkisilti Aqueduct. We cannot leave without taking a quick flyby over Chirk Aqueduct, which is itself the entrance into Wales, albeit the northern part of Wales, from the canal system, and which I'm looking very forward to doing, hopefully in the very near future. So to all my Welsh friends, happy St. Dynamon's Day. And my apologies if my Welsh pronunciation has gone a little bit rusty. <laughs> well that was different wasn't it well you've got to do something different occasionally yeah it's always nice to have a change I think brilliant well um, it's uh, really beginning to snow down here <clears throat> it is beginning to settle now as you can see and I'm sure it's going to be a fun packed day if this continues uh, during the course of it oh, try to keep the snow off the lens there anyway Ah, so um, I've got to thank um, Pat and Eileen for last week's uh, Forgo Narrowboat in Live special. It seems so long ago now. That was a cracking um, D log you did at the end there. I'll never be able to look at um, boots again without thinking of you, Eileen and Pat, when you looked at your motorbike. <laughs> oh, bless. Oh, dear. I also want to thank all my subscribers. Absolutely love you to pieces. Thank you so much for subscribing. You give me such inspiration to carry on and do these vlogs week in, week out, which I absolutely adore doing. And I love reading your comments. So thank you so much for the wonderful comments that you've been kind enough to send to me every week. Now, I have uh, some things. Now, when I worked, I was never shy at making technology do things 
that perhaps technology wasn't initially designed to do. In other words, I pushed the boundaries. I've got some exciting news coming up for you, but um, my Patreons will understand already what I'm talking about. Uh, and in seven to ten days, I'll be going on to my uh, Facebook group page and doing a live to explain what I'm doing because I need some help to check out. Now, providing all of that works out correctly and everything comes together, within a couple of weeks, I'll be announcing something really exciting to you, all my lovely subscribers, which I know many of you will be thrilled to, to hear about. But until then, all I can do is to wish you the healthiest week that you keep safe, you keep warm, and as I say in Wales, <laughs> Nos vidas.